Hello, Donna Cato here. Welcome to my channel and another tutorial, a part in the series of black and white tutorials that we will be using to make a disc necklace. And you know what? Maybe more than that. So anyway, the topic of this tutorial is silk screening. And I have to tell you, I am far from an expert at silk screening. I've just, you know, sort of touched the surface of it. And I'm sure there are other people who could tune you into the finer points. But I'm just going to give you a brief overview. Now, I have a screen here that was made by Moiko. And um, the thing about Moiko silk screens is that she has a, a experience and a history in... Um, and fabrics and the silk screening on fabric. So she understands the quality differences in the silk screen materials. So her silk screen material is gauged for thousands of runs. Okay, so it's a very good material. Now I had her make this for me. She's really sweet. And the way you use it is you just, of course, you have your raw clay. I have rolled this through, through setting number six and so it's quite thin and I put it on a piece of uh, deli paper so that will go right on and the way I know I'm using the right side is that I can read her logo Moiko so if I can read that then I know that the screen is on the right side the right side is down I mean the right side is up and the correct side is down okay now, let's talk about paint. Uh, in the past, when I silk screened, I would use very expensive paint, you know, my tubed acrylic paints, because I frankly didn't know any better. <laughs> and then I saw her at a show, and she was just using paints like this. And you know what? Not only are they a lot less expensive, but they're also quite a bit easier to clean from the screen. So I had been paying more to make my life harder. So I'm here to tell you that you can use cheap paint, cheap acrylic paints when you silk screen and you'll be fine, fine, fine. And it's easier to clean out of the screen. All right, so I put this down. Now, another thing, acrylic paint cures it has a cure time. That cure time could be a day, two days, a week, whatever. When you use this acrylic paint, you'll be able to touch the surface of it pretty quickly, but that doesn't mean that it's cured. That does not mean that it's totally dry. Now, here's the thing. If you let this totally dry on the clay, it is not usable because you will have lost the bond between the paint and the clay. It will peel off, all right? So this paint has to be slightly tacky when you cure it. And, and I don't mean tacky on the top. I mean tacky where it's in contact with the clay. So I hope you understand that. You want to make your silk screen sheets shortly before you use them. And you also don't want to make them and set them on a shelf and leave them there for a month. Right? Not usable anymore. So, if anybody has any questions about that, you can put them in the comments. Now, each paint is different. Maybe a tubed acrylic takes a longer time to cure. Maybe less. I don't know. Maybe that duration, that period of time varies from one one type of paint, one manufacturer to another. Maybe Delta is different than Decolart. You know, I mean, it's chemistry. I almost flunked chemistry in, uh, in, in high school. So you don't want to ask me questions about chemistry very much. Okay, so I'm going to give this a shake, and then we're going to use it. It's been sitting in a drawer on its side for maybe a year, maybe two years. As I said, I don't silk screen very often. Okay, so let's hope. Let's hope that's good. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to put down 
just a bead of the paint. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy Moiko plastic paint spreader and I'm going to spread the paint across the silk screen. You can see I didn't put that much paint down there and it just completely spread across. I'm happy. All right, now I'm going to peel it off. Hello. Peel it off. And it's beautiful. Okay, set this aside. And you want to have this prepared. Water. I'm just going to pop that in there. And I'm just going to wash it. Try to get as much of the paint out as possible. And you don't want to just sit. You don't want to leave this in there. Okay, you think, oh, it's acrylic paint. It's in the water. It's going to be fine. I can come back later or a week later and it'll still be, you know, no. Acrylic paint cures in water as well. Okay, so you've got to really work to get it out of the screen. And I do most of my rubbing on the side where I can read. See, I'm still reading Moiko. Well, this is the side I'm going to rub a little harder on. Because I think the other side is slightly raised. Okay, so you want to really work at getting it off. Okay, that looks good pretty good but now see that was my wash now I'm going to set aside my wash and I'm going to put it in fresh water and rinse it off and work a little harder at it make sure that I have all the paint out of the screen it's kind of tough right there on the edge but I don't think that's a problem Okay, now once you've got the paint out, then you just lay it out on a towel, like so, okay? So that wasn't terribly difficult, and believe me, if you use expensive paint, it is more difficult. That paint really wants to stick inside. Let me move all this water out of the way. And then we'll continue. Okay. So you can see that's a very simple process. It is not difficult. And um, I think the result is quite nice. So, you know, I'm going to let this dry a bit. And then I will, um, I will cut it out. And make a sample because I'm making samples of all the things that we're doing in the series. Okay, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will try to answer if I know the answer. Um, if you liked this, if you learned something from it, then please definitely like and subscribe. And let me think, what else can I tell you? I guess the only thing I have to say is thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And until we meet again, goodbye.